In the previous video that I made for my students I posted my recommended layout for a bridge rectifier here, it's nice and compact. Now we should all now be familiar with the purpose of a smoothing capacitor, so I've added a smoothing capacitor in, it's a 2200 microfarad smoothing capacitor across the load, the load is just a lamp here. So as you can see I've opened up PicoScope, just the default settings, I've not changed anything and you can see a single trace, it's rather jittery running across the screen at the moment, running at roughly 12 volts. So first of all what we could do, and this is quite an easy one, it's going to be just to click the auto setup button. Let's just wait a moment. Now you notice that we still have, remember we, we are measuring the voltage across the smoothing capacitor, we can see now that we've got a voltage approximately 12 volts, so it's DC biased at about 12 volts, there's also an AC component to it, there's a ripple voltage there. Now it's difficult to actually see much detail of that, so rather than, we already know that we, we are going to be DC biased, so it'd be better to remove that DC bias so we only look at the AC component. Now to do that, it'd be better to go AC coupled, and just wait a moment, and then uh, click the auto setup again. So remember now we're working in AC, uh, AC coupled mode and so you can see a much larger waveform that, that's starting to get more useful however it's still very jittery and that's because we haven't triggered on anything so that's uh, where it says trigger down the bottom here let's just click uh, auto and now that's going to be more useful to us the peak to peak is something around about 600 millivolts there now you can add measurements, so down at the bottom here you can see add measurement and you can also right click down here as well but uh, I'll show you that later. So click add measurements and then so channel to measure and then we can measure AC RMS or we can measure say peak to peak which would be my ripple voltage across the whole trace and it's down there it's rather small so let's just go here and change the grid size peak to peak that's the ripple voltage of 640-ish. Uh, um, in fact, I think there's an, yeah, an average there, 645 uh, millivolts of ripple. So that's quite useful. Now, uh, you can add more by just right-clicking and choose Add Measurements. And you can edit, delete as well. So let's just delete that measurement out. And this time around, let's go back to DC Coupled and click the auto setup. Auto setup generally gets you out of trouble I think most times. Let's make another measurement. So we said approximately it was about 12 volts. So this time we could say uh, the DC average voltage and then click on OK there. Now I'm not going to show you every feature, every measurement. It's just to get you started really. So you can see yeah it's 11.7 so it was approximately 12. We, we could see that so now we have a, a better idea. Okay, so um, let's see if there's anything else useful that we might be able to just play around with here. Add measurement. And you could say measure the frequency. And you'll notice that the frequency is running at 100 hertz. Now in a uh, bridge rectified circuit, um, that is what you would expect because you would be expecting a doubling of the line the mains frequency which in the UK is 50 Hertz so it's doubled to 100 Hertz so that's that is correct it's nice easy measurements to take using the PicoScope software